Alright guys, so day four of zombie hunting, uh, Gunner is over here and he has finally killed his peanut butter, but he wants the jar, so we're gonna let him have it. Working on the drag stash, totally forgot a razor, probably will pick one of those up today. Um, the, the drag stash thing is not my own invention, that's a viewer comment that pops up a ton. So, we have some fun stuff to do in Rochester, then mission tonight, and if you look outside, it's been very wet, very rainy, and that's kind of what we think that we're in for, so we're gonna pick up some stuff to, to handle that as well. But Justin and I are about to roll out. It's gonna be a good day. All right, so we came into the city, and Justin brought me to the Genesee Brewery, which is all this massive building over here, and then this is the brew house, which obviously serves their beer and is a, is a restaurant of sorts, so that's where we're gonna do lunch today, but that's pretty cool, and then you can see over here, there's like a giant waterfall just in the middle of their city. That's really, really cool. Hope nobody ever like barrels over it. That would be awful. Are you guys generating power with this? Super duper cool. Was this a mine? What was this? This bridge is over all of this. It's a really good thing that we have plenty of time before HVZ because the flight of beer here is pretty good. One of them not so much, three of them so far awesome. And then this mac and cheese is like baked with the breadcrumbs into it. And uh, it's pretty, it's almost Southern style, but it's a little bit different. But it's gonna be hearty, and we want like the full six hours we've got to digest that. Justin got a killer Reuben. It looks pretty good. All right, Vlad, you gotta be jealous because I found the birthplace of your honey brown. Comes out of these tanks. I win. <laughs> so we came to the Strong Museum in Rochester, and I found my good buddy. It's Uncle Cal. Ah, ah, ah. No, there's a ton of stuff. They actually have their own uh, grocery store for kids. It's um, like the grocery store that we visited on day one. They have their very own Wegmans. It's kind of neat. And apparently there's like a superhero exib exhibit that's gonna be cool. Rob, why aren't you up here? Look, it's Rob. You would love this. It's like the video game hall of fame. It's so cool. Like a ton of 8-bit. Oh wow, you could like actually play too. It's neat. Okay guys, giant NES controller, Mario, we got this. Good. No, it's a terrible score. So, Jared, you're probably not jealous of this because your collection's pretty insane. But if we step into here, they've got all kinds of new pinball machines. This is Game of Thrones, which has got to be new. There's a, a kiss. I can't find. Oh, man. I'm kind of jealous. This dude's got the Adams family on lockdown. But, um. I'm trying to find the one that I really like. Do they have. Do they have Bride of Pinbot? Nope, okay, your place wins, but a ton of pinball over here. Guys, this like Toy Fair up in here. Look at this, you got Lego movie characters chilling with original Lego characters. Coming up in here, this is a giant pinball ramp. 
This guy might be playing pinball, I don't know. Over here we have the outside, you can get a good look at Rochester. So much neon, shiny, and chrome. Uh, guys, world's coolest arcade. All sorts of stuff through here. Largest amiibos in the world? Yes, no, maybe? I don't know, hard to say. Lots of amiibos. Uh, this is kind of cheesy. This is Temple Run, an arcade game. I don't like it when they turn the apps into arcades. Ooh, this is cool. Super old school Tron poster. A Star Wars battle pod. I didn't want to buy tickets, but I'm gonna have to. Oh no! Look at all the cabinets. This is huge. Spider-Man pinball. Maybe they do have uh, old school Galaga. There are a few games I know how to play here. Guitar Hero. Lots of modern stuff. Four-person Pac-Man is kind of weird. It's a weird blend of new versus old. What is this? It's like, I can't remember what this toy is called, but you can block these off with the pegs and they're all down here. Shiny and chrome. So much Nintendo. They have the original Tron in here. Oh man, old school Mortal Kombat. I had this Game Boy, that's crazy. I saw that, yeah. This is neat. I don't know what this is, but it's like, oh wow, you guys won't be able to tell. I gotta step off first. It's called Color Field, I've never seen it before. So this is me up here. And then they kinda run. It's like, this is neat, guys. Strong Museum in Rochester is really, really Justin cool. and I had totally tried to save April, but we were not enough. Somebody else will have to use their turtle power. Justin and I just got done playing pinball, and they're actually kicking us out. The museum closes at 5. It'd kill to have one of these. Someday. Someday. The Tron Machine is awesome. It's got a lot of voice work from, from the movie itself. I don't know how they pulled off the licensing for that, but maybe... Uh, Maybe Stern Pinball has the answers. I don't even know if they made that game. Who knows? But uh, walking through the Hall of Heroes on our way out is super duper cool. You've got life-size Iron Man, Batman over there. A couple of genius tinkers with a little bit of money to throw around. Hulk's up here. And on our way out, we've got Spidey doing my HVZ pose right here. Very similar to the one that we found in New York up at Toy Fair. Super duper cool. And then this is one last shot of the Toy Museum. Kind of can see how like, I thought, kind of like the Mattel booth at Toy Fair, right? Like up above everything else and super, super lit up. But now we just gotta go home, get geared up, maybe a light dinner before everything's all said and done. But should be a ton of uh, fun. The mission tonight is gonna be rainy, very rainy. So we might pick up special gear just to handle that. like. Uh, poncho ninja sock warrior kind of something or other but no flywheels I don't want to risk the lipos in the rain I already risked the Lazarus in the snow and that was kind of rough but at this point so much has happened today that I'm actually gonna split the vlog here so this is me signing off of the, the like awesome just Rochester day vlog I'll pick it up with another vlog, it'll be like a bonus for the HVZ mission because the footage from that last night was like really dynamic, really cool, and I, I want to not distract from that with all of the, <laughs> the Sesame Street goodness over here.